Hey, what's going on? This is the Urban Soul Shelf. And today, something special for you. Sweet tea brine chicken breast strips. All right, we're going to start off by brining our chicken breast strips that we've cut, pre-cut, and put in the sweet tea. Make it like you would regular sweet tea. And we have two eggs here. And right here we have our mixture of flour and our seasonings. You can check the description and get the um, seasonings that I included for this. Or you can just make your own seasoning, put it in the flour and set it aside. That looks good all by itself. All right, take the egg, the two eggs, and beat it, beat it. Just beat it, scramble it till it's scrambled good. Yeah, scramble it good. And pour a little water in here. This is gonna be our egg wash. So we're gonna pour some water in there, just enough to dilute it, where it's not as eggy. But a little water in there makes a better wash. Look at that, that looks delicious. All right, we have our chicken breast strips that have been marinating in the sweet tea, so it has a little sweetness to it. We're gonna wash it in the egg wash. Look at that. Those chicken breasts look good. I marinated them for about, um, about three hours. And you can marinate them for 12 hours. All right, take it, mix it around as you know in the, the uh, flour mixture and we're gonna drop it, which I've already dropped it in the grease for frying. Beautiful, beautiful. As I said, you can marinate it for three hours, uh, 12 hours, even 24 hours in the sweet tea mixture. The longer you marinate, the, the uh, more the flavor gets in. Voila, look out there now. This is what it looks like once you complete the frying process. That looks delicious. I'm not able to eat it on camera because I'm doing all the videoing myself, but uh, if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. And if you like what you saw, this simple recipe, hit that like button. All right, today we're cooking buttermilk, rosemary brine, fried chicken. Doesn't that look good? All right, let's get the cooking here. All right, we have our chicken breast cut, brining in buttermilk and rosemary. I like to use fresh rosemary. Fresh, I have a couple of bushes that I cut from, or you can use dried rosemary as well. And uh, you let it brine in the buttermilk and rosemary combo for at least three hours. You can do three, 12, or even 24. But that buttermilk begins to break down the tissue and gives it a nice savory flavor. Matter of fact, Popeye's uses buttermilk, some kind of buttermilk wash. That looks delicious. And um, I already have my seasoning in that flour. All right, you got your fryer set at 350. That's the magical temperature for frying. Chicken, look at that grease, looks good. All right, now well, we're leaving this over here. This is my second sheet of breast, letting them continue to marinate while I get ready to fry. Well, if you could reach your hands up through there. That's fresh chicken, doesn't it look good? All right, now this right here is my second batch. I double dipped it in the wash after um, allowing it to dip that first time so it can have an extra crispy crust. That sounds delicious. Now you let it fry until it's golden brown, which is about two, three minutes. You can tell by the how, how it looks on the outside mainly. All right, this is what buttermilk rosemary brine chicken looks like. Beautiful, delicious. I would have eaten it on camera, but hey, I'm filming it and videoing it myself, so I couldn't do that. But thanks again for tuning in to the Urban Chef, Urban Soul Chef, that is. And if you would, hit that like button and do me a favor, subscribe.